So this podcast is really about implementation, the um, part I missed out in the systems lifecycle, I didn't miss it out purposely because of the way the flow of the vodcast has gone together, but it's really important to understand certain aspects about implementation. As I've mentioned before, there's many different ways of looking at the systems lifecycle, and in fact depending on what you study, what level you study at, and who's teaching you, um, there'll be different ways of interpreting the system life cycle and this really does highlight this when you look at implementation there's a generic way of looking at implementation some people would say that implementation is is really the is really the execution of the thing the actual doing of of everything that you've designed everything that came from analysis then designed so that it's the actual putting in place of the thing so that's a generic way of looking at it. In terms of a system, um, this is where the real disparity comes. There is um, an argument to say that it's the coding that's really the implementation. It's when you get a team of people actually putting the thing together. That's the implementation um, of the actual work that goes on. But I really want you to focus in terms of the way we're looking at it in system lifecycle as the uh, the installation it's the handover bit that's the important way of looking at it and when it comes to answering questions and exams that's really the bit you're going to focus on so it's installation or what's known as handover so you might be sat there thinking to yourself well how can something that's generically known as execution you know the actual doing of the thing you've designed or even arguably coding in terms of computer systems how can that suddenly be about installation in other words installing it putting it in place well this really gives you a basic outline of what happens and these steps are purposely in order but they've all got to got to be there for in order for a system to be installed to be handed over to be given to the client that's really what it's about handing over is given to the client you've got to have delivery you've got to have all the parts in place whether they've come from the outside or whether your team have built it whatever they are hardware and software They've got to be installed, they've got to be, really the hardware's got to be put in place, it's got to be put together, it's got to be made to work. Then you've got to train the people who are going to use the system, usually the employees in the actual organisation. You've got to put all the data there, so if you imagine this in the school environment, you'd have to have all the pupils' de- data on the system. Um, and then you're going to hand it over to them. There'll be an actual point where you go, right, this is when the system's usable by you. Here we go. The trouble is with the way I described it in the last slide, it makes it sound like it's one act in that here it is, you take it from me. But that's not strictly true. There's a variety of ways you can do handover, and very few of them are actually like that. Um, Here's, here's the four I want you to focus on, and these are sometimes described in another way. I've used symbology to help you remember these things, um, but parallel pilot, direct and phasing are really the four ways that I want you to, to consider. So with parallel, you're running um, one system, the old system, and the new system together. And this could be so you're looking at how one system does it and how another system does it and then correcting the new one and then eventually you'll stop the old one and make the new one the system that's going to be used. Um, you can also do it by, by piloting the new system. In other words, you might give it a certain amount of time on the new system out there and and see what, and then and then take it offline, fix the errors and and then go, right, we're ready now. Or it can be direct, which is more like what what I'm, I really hinted at in terms of here it is, we're ready to go now. The old one shuts off, the new one starts. Um, or the sort of a phased introduction where you might have one department, then another department, then another department, then another department. Or one element of the system working, then another element, then another element. So if you're looking in, in an organisation, it could be that the sales uh, department are using the new angle of the system and then the manufacturing department will start using a certain bit and then the accounts department that's one way of doing it so phased gradually one bit then another bit then another bit one bit that's worth mentioning which really doesn't flow from system handover but it does come in in terms of um, implementation is the idea of prototyping so it could be that 
um, a systems analyst or a, the company that's in charge of this whole operation decide that um, they want to put together a sample of how the overall thing's going to work and this allows them to get some sort of feedback or to even uh, test the system so it's a bit like a pilot but it's prototyping just a certain amount of it or a, or a smaller version of something and it allows them to get an insight and the organization that they're working for to get an insight into how the final system could work so prototyping I mean prototyping you really see in like um, the idea of a physical object but a prototyping could be a whole system